In the meantime, we recognize our distinguished colleague, Deputy Speaker Rodante Marcoleta, for his chance to interpolate the sponsor. Representative from Sagip Party List, Honorable uh, Deputy Speaker Rodante de Marcoleta is recognized to interpolate the, the Swingish sponsor. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to make reference to an incident that happened in, uh, in the city of Osamis. Uh, it came to my knowledge, Mr. Speaker, through the intercessions of some constituents and I found out, Mr. Speaker, that a certain project in that area was implemented with several marks of irregularity, if not legal processes. Mr. Speaker, for starters, I'd like to ask the sponsor if he is familiar with DILG Memorandum Circular Number 2020-068. It is entitled Postponement of All Administrative Demolitions During ECQ and State of National Emergency. Uh, MC 20, 2020 MC number 2020-068. You're correct, uh, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, this memorandum circular was issued by the DILG in connection with the declaration of national state of calamity by the president. And if I quote from the memorandum itself, it says, this memorandum circular is issued to direct all LGUs to postpone all demolition and eviction activities and ensure that all homeless citizens within the respective jurisdictions are properly accommodated. I believe, Mr. Speaker, that this, is, that this particular memorandum was in response to the national declared emergency and to shelter our people with the onslaught of pandemic COVID-19. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, the proponent of the project in that area deliberately disregarded the circular. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I have all documents to show. I have photographs. I have video footages that demolitions of presidential units in that area were conducted between April to August 2020. Mr. Speaker, the most painful experience that I experienced or this representation experience in connection with this incident is when I ask assistance from the DILG. I cannot reach the secretary at the time because I was informed that he was under quarantine at the time and I was able to have some text messaging with the OIC by the name of Yusek Florese. I explained to him the necessity of postponing or even preventing demolitions of presidents because 
This is not what the secular is all about. Not only that, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, I found out through the intercession of Yusek Echiberi that the demolitions in, those, in that area were not covered by court order of demolitions. It was Yusek Echiberi himself who coordinated with the regional director of the ILG and he found out that there are no court orders to demolish. What the proponent had is a writ of possession allegedly issued by the court. That will be okay, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, but a writ of, demolition, a writ of possession without the writ of demolition issued by the court and undertake those demolitions will be illegal. And so the question, Mr. Speaker, why did not the regional director or even or even the undersecretary explain to the proponent of that project in that area that there is an existing memorandum circular advising all LGUs to postpone evictions and demolitions. As a matter of fact, they were all advised to take care of presidents because of the pandemic. The order, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, was to stay home. But precisely, Mr. Speaker, the homes are being demolished during the pandemic. Why, why is it that the DILG was unable to at least restrain the proponent of the project to at least stop the demolition? There is a circular and they found out that there are no order of demolitions issued by the court. How come the demolition continued unabated? Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, our uh, good uh, uh, congressman, the demolition started as per of the DILG recollection. And there, uh, the, the demolition started uh, December 7, 2019, and it was self-demolition. However, uh, as uh, Yusek Florese uh, acknowledged uh, the communication between you and the uh, Yusek, uh, uh, April and August uh, was still self-demolition. There were demolition, but it was not forced demolition, but self-demolition. Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, the report was wrong. There was no demolition that happened December 7, 2019. What is the reason that there could have, that demolition could not have been taken during that period? First of all, the rate of possession was obtained by the proponent of that project January 31, 2020. And so, if the basis of the demolition is the writ of possession, December 7 is too early in the day. Secondly, I have photographs, as I said, I have footages to prove that demolitions were undertaken between April to August 2020. As a matter of fact, the regional director of DILG met with the lawyers of the residents, and he was given all the pictures and even a copy of a USB for him to appreciate the existence of the demolitions that took place between April to August 2020. Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, the question remains unanswered. How come despite the plea of this representation. Despite the fact that the DILG itself found out that there were no court orders or writ of demolitions 
But just the same, the demolitions took place during the pandemic, Mr. Speaker, where the people are supposed to stay at home. But here is the proponent of the project too busy dismantling and demolishing houses of small landowners. Mr. Speaker, if you have read the report of the DILG, I do not know what is the basis of this report. He was there, he talked to the complaining residents, and the lawyers were there. He was given pictures. How come he ended up submitting a report that gave rise to a complaint disposition? The complaint disposition took the report of the regional director, hook, line, and sinker. It is all wrong, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. I can prove to you that this is all wrong. But again, I even talk, not necessarily talk, I texted the chief PMP. Archie Gamboa. Now, my text messages are in my cell phone. I did not receive any reply. Because those residents feared for their lives. There were mobsters encircling the residents. No, nobody, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, the entire DILG was not responding. The police PNP did not even reply to my, te to my text messages. Why so? Mr. Speaker, if you are unable to provide the answers to these questions, we can probably defer consideration of your budget until I am able to convince you that these questions must be answered because there are aggrieved people. Uh, your speaker, uh, our fellow uh, congressman, uh, as per records shows that uh, even in uh, August, uh, 10th of August, there were an investigation uh, conducted by the local regional DILG and on uh, July, and then August was the release no, of our reports for the said uh, findings. There were actual uh, actions taken by the DILG as far as July, uh, August and July. I did not understand the answer, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. Well, the action taken of the DILG was to conduct a preliminary investigation as per of uh, Yusek Lorese. Uh, instructed the regional for a investigation on your request. Mr. Uh, Speaker, Your Honor, the findings of the regional what I am asking is how come the DILG, notwithstanding the existence of a memorandum circular, stopping, postponing all evictions and demolitions during the pandemic, how come? He failed to even advise the LGU to discontinue the demolitions. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my good uh, colleague, uh, the answer, can I ask for a one-minute suspension? 
to Carter the answer. 